guys, welcome to Van Diemen's Land Model Bench. I'm Dan, and to a new video series where I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the products that I use to make my models. Now, these are products that aren't necessarily brand new to the market. In fact, a lot of them aren't. It's really just about those sort of products that I just tend to find myself going back to use over and over again that I find to be really good value. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate them as such. So I'm just going to put them on the video and tell you a little bit about them because I know there's plenty of videos out there. I may have already shot a video of some of these things. Uh, there are other people out there who have done reviews, there's articles, all sorts of things. So really all I'm going to do is just share a bit of my experience as a model maker with you and maybe some of these products will be new to you or you haven't considered them before or maybe you've got them and you haven't used them lately. It might uh, inspire you to, to dig them out and have another go. So with that in mind, let's have a look at our first product which is going to be uh, Panzer Putty. Now Panzer Putty came out a few years ago and got a quite a bit of press when it first came out and sort of died down now. But this is a product that I find myself coming back to quite frequently. Um, somewhat ironically not for tanks, but often for aircraft kits. So basically, if you haven't seen it before, inside this tin is this black sort of bitumen product. And as you when it's in the tin, particularly if it's a bit cold, it can be a bit hard to actually work with. So let me just try and get a bit of it out of there. There you go. You can see it's just coming off in very thin sort of strips. And what you need to do is just use your hands and the warmth of your hands will actually start to make the product malleable. And then you can start to shape it into whatever you want it to be. So in principle, this has the same idea if you think about just using something like um, blue tack. The difference is, whereas blue tack can leave like a residue behind or a stain, if you like, that affects the finish on your model, this doesn't, which is really good. So I tend to find myself using this product quite a lot when I want to do camouflage patterns on things like aircraft. So for example, the other night, I was working on this Tamiya P51B Mustang and it's a fairly straightforward kit but it has a demarcation line down the side here where the uh, lower colour and the upper colour meet. There's another one here on just underneath the uh, air cooler there, the oil cooler. And so basically what I've done is I've used some of this putty. And this putty is very easy to work with. You just simply lay it down where you want it to be on the model like so, and once you've got it where you want it, you're good to go, and you can go ahead and spray the colour. And it's really no more complicated than that. Once you finish, you can just simply lift it off. It doesn't leave any residue or marks, and you can pop that straight back in the can and use it again. So I've had this can for probably about uh, four years now, I guess. And I've used it in quite a few models, and as you can see, it's all still perfectly fine. So I think there's probably several years at least uh, that I can get out of that um, particular product. Here's another example of a smaller kit where I've used that uh, exact same product. As you can see here, I've got a Airfix 172 scale Tomahawk, which has got the desert colour scheme. And I used the Panzer Putty to get the, the pattern you see there on the wings and the fuselage. And that worked really well. So Panzer Putty is something that you don't use it all the time, but when you need it, it's fantastic. It also really boosts your confidence as far as uh, your spray painting is concerned. One handy tip for it as well is you can actually vary what it looks like or how it appeals, how it uh, works on the model. So for example, if I just lay it on the wing like that for, for uh, painting, what actually happens is underneath there, there's a slight ridge. So if I'm spraying from directly on top, I'll end up with a fairly soft demarcation line where the pattern's going to be between all the two colours that I'm painting. If I put it on and leave it sit there for a while, so an hour or so, that sort of depends a bit on the room temperature, what will happen is that will actually start to fall down and stick better to the surface, and that ridge will disappear. And the consequence of that is, is that when I paint it after that, uh, I'll get a much harder demarcation line. So if you're looking for the really hard demarcation line, you can use this product by just putting it on and leaving it for a while. Or if you're looking for a softer demarcation line for your camouflage, you can spray paint as soon as you've got it on. 
So it works either way. And I tend to use this with a combination of uh, this and masking tape to get my planes ready for painting. And it works really, really well. Now, Panzer Putty uh, cost in Australia, I think when I bought it, it was about, so let's look at my notes here. Yeah, it was about $26 Australian. It's also sold the exact same product as a Ammo MIG product, so they call it um, Camouflage Masking Putty. And an Australian company called SMS, Scar Model Supplies, also makes a version of it called Masking Putty, which is in a slightly smaller tin, uh, uh, it's 50 grams, whereas this one, for example, is 80 grams, and that's obviously a bit cheaper. So this will cost you roughly around you know, $16 US, uh, depending on obviously where you get it from. It could be a little bit more, it could be a bit less, but somewhere around that mark. And given how well it works, and given how durable it is, in the sense that you can just keep recycling it, um, it's actually extremely good value. And it really does make painting and masking your models that much easier. So, while it's not a particularly glamorous product, and uh, perhaps that's why it doesn't get as much attention as it deserves, the truth is, it's really, really handy to have on your bench. So that's the first product I wanted to tell you about. That's the uh, Intelligent Panzer Putty. Around about uh, $16 US. If you haven't seen it before, you haven't tried it, uh, I can recommend it to you. Give it a go. It works really, really well. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first short video. I'm thinking about doing a series of these. So uh, if you do like that side here, uh, give us a thumbs up and perhaps say something in the comments. If you don't like it, let me know as well. And if I get enough people that uh, like this format, then I've got a heap of other things I'll talk about. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next video.